You're watching That Love Will Bowl and Live. And today we're reviewing Shake Shack's first official Singapore burger. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you're seeing our faces, I'm Sam and this is my wife, Rianne. First of all, we want to thank each and every one of our 1,000 subscribers. We really appreciate all your comments and subscribes and likes. It's such a huge honor. Yeah, we started this small channel just over a year ago now. We didn't think anyone would subscribe, so we're really appreciative of everyone who has done so far. And as you may notice, if you followed us from the beginning, we have moved. So we're now out east, which is an area we really didn't know that much about before shifting. So, you know, if you are out east or if you have any food or activity recommendations, make sure you hit us up in the comments. Yeah, we spent these last few weeks exploring. That's why there hasn't been a few videos for a while. We did release one last week, but this is our first official one in our new place. And we're so excited to show it off to you maybe a little bit down the line. But before we get into this video, before we eat this food, this incredible food, please do help our small channel out by subscribing. It's completely free, it really helps us out. But let's get into it, shall we? Makan. Makan time. So here is our bag of goodies from Shake Shack. Now the funny thing is that my favorite dish is nasi lemak and Sam's favorite is burgers. So of course, as soon as we heard that this limited edition kind of nasi lemak inspired burger was coming, we were like, we've got to jump at the chance. Yeah, so let's yeah. dive let's in. See. So there are actually two burgers, which is the sambal mayo burger and also the sambal mayo chicken shack. So one is obviously chicken and one is beef. Ooh, so there it is. It comes in this box like that. So this is the beef burger. As you can see, it's got like the nasi lemak, it's got the cucumber, it's got the egg that you'd expect in a nasi lemak. And then this is the chicken one, it's got the potato bun you'd expect from Shake Shack. It hasn't really got. It's got small condiments that you'd expect in nasi lemak, but not like overly, but we will get into that. So the price of both burgers is $12.50. So for me personally, I think they're a little bit on the small side. Yeah. And I have to give a little bit of a disclaimer because when we first moved to Singapore, the nasi lemak McDonald's burger came out and we pretty much lived on that yeah. for a good while. And they are, I would say, my favorite McDonald's burger. So that this one does have a little bit of competition in my eyes. All right, should we get into it? Yes. Okay. Okay, so let's start with the beef burger. I'm not sure beef is really a nasi lemak. Do you have beef in nasi lemak? Not really. It's more chicken, right, if you're gonna have meat. Yeah, I guess unless you're sort of going like beef rundown kind of avenue. Yeah, which then... is always, always nice. Yeah, so we've just cut them in half, uh, just to, you know, make it fair, so we both get to try at the same time. Yeah, and we're gonna judge these on five different things. We've got appearance, we've got taste, we've got authenticity, whether it tastes like what we know as nasi lemak, price, and does it live up to the hype? So appearance-wise, I mean, like I said, it's a little bit small for my, I don't know, I think for the price. Yeah. But, um, you know, like it holds well, which is mm. good in a burger. You don't want it to fall apart completely. The beef burger looks um, a little bit, I guess, almost rundangy. Like yeah. it's got that sort of flakiness. It is, to it. it is like a typical Shake Shack burger. If you do go, like it is quite a thin patty, but you've got like a nice wedge of sambal at the top. The egg looks good. So should we get into it? So we've just had half of our half burgers and I have to say that for me there is a nice spice coming through. For me on the first bite I just got very kind of basic burger. Yeah, same. On way. second bite I would say the very subtle sambal hint came through. But they do say that the chicken burger is supposed to have a bit more of a punch. Yeah, I think that's more the authentic nasi lemak burger. Yeah, and I guess um, we have to kind of like give a little bit of a, I guess another disclaimer that Shake Shack are saying it's a Singapore inspired burger. They're not trying to make exactly yeah. a nasi lemak burger, but just I guess kind of East meets West influence. Let's try the chicken. Okay, <clears throat> so 
The chicken is slightly different. And this is a little harder to hold together, so I'm trying to grab it. It's gone a little bit soggy because... Yeah. Because it was delivered, so and I don't think it would come like ooh, this. It's a lot of cabbage, which is um, kind of obviously notoriously full of water. Now the thing I'm not looking forward to on this particular burger is there is a coriander sauce. And I'm not the biggest coriander fan. For me, like there's certain people that is a gene that you have that it tastes like soap, and for me it tastes like soap. I know, <laughs> I know a lot of people say that's an excuse, but... <laughs> It tastes soapy. I've never understood the appeal of it. I love it. I'm yeah. the opposite. I love it. So I am looking forward to this. There's a nice big chicken breast patty there, which is breaded, and then yeah. there's oh yeah, oh gosh, there is cucumber. I'm trying to keep it together, hold it together. Right, there's cucumber and also yeah, as Sam said, coriander and lime and fish sauce. So again, not super. Um, Singaporean, I guess, no. but like it does have the sambal mayo in it as well. Yeah. So, so let's. Cheers. Cheers. So we've just tried the sambal chicken mayo shack, which from first bite, the punch really yeah. actually comes through. The spice is really strong. So for me, that's definitely more preferable. I really love the, the spice hit that you get. But as we were eating, I kind of said to Sam like, because of the coriander, because of the fish sauce, it has more Vietnamese flavors to it. It reminds me of when I was living there and you'd have something like, I don't know, pho or banh mi or like bun cha, which has that, all those sort of like yeah. ingredients together. So for me, this burger has got me a bit more excited, even though it was falling apart, it was a bit soggy, but the flavors certainly hit the mark for me. Singaporean, mm, authenticity, no. maybe not so much but definitely flavorful. Yeah, a really nice burger. I think I'd definitely get this one again, as opposed to the beef one. The beef one, if you've been to Shake Shack before, it is just quite similar to the original Shake Burger, mm. or the Shack Burger, which is just the added egg, added like cucumber, sambal added sambal, which is nice. It does add to the burger, but the chicken burger, the chicken is cooked really well. Mm -hmm. Like the Nasi Lemak burger, I was expecting, the Nasi Lemak burger from McDonald's, I was expecting a dry chicken, but this one is Oh, it's nice really and, well. yeah, juicy and tender in the middle. It's great. Yeah, it's not, it's not um, dry at all, which some chicken burgers can be. So thank God this one isn't. Yeah, so really good. So I'm going to rate and rank them now. Yep. If you had to pick one, which I know what you're going to say, but if you had to pick one, because there's two, which one would you pick? It is that East meets West thing, right? I mean, your favorite food is burgers. Mine is nasi lemak. I wouldn't say this hits the mark in terms of nasi lemak, but the, the sambal mayo chicken was definitely my favorite. The punchy flavors, really the Asian-ness comes through and that's why I love it. Yeah, it was a really, really nice burger. So yeah, for me, I would pick the chicken burger as well. I just think I normally, a big beef burger fan, but I think this one has been done really well. Luckily, the coriander punch didn't really come through that much. I got more of the fish bot, I got more of the fish sauce, I got more of the spicy kick, but yeah, it's a really, really nice burger. So we're gonna finish these burgers. We have given you our recommendations, but now on the screen, we're gonna put our scores out of five for each of those five categories that we said at the beginning. <music> on the screen the clear winner in our household was the chicken yes it was the best hands down the best but if you tried both varieties or if you just tried one put your comments below let us know that you've been to Shake Shack or you've had them delivered and you've tried them yeah which one was your favorite and you know just want to say that chicken has been in the news quite a lot recently due to Malaysia's export ban but Shake Shack does say that they're not affected by the ban which is good news for them but obviously you know there are a lot of hawkers out there which are struggling so do support your hawkers if you can <laughs> say thank you so much for watching really appreciate it and as we said in the beginning 
do hit us up with your suggestions for the east and you know we might give you a little house tour if you really fancy yeah, it. Yeah, we did our house tour of our last place. It went down really well. So we'd love to show you around this place. Put it in the comments if you'd like to see, because we'd love to show it. New place, and we love it yep, so far. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and do give this video a like. Right, we'll see you on the next one. Um.